Hello everyone, this is Shankar K. In this video, you will learn about the relationship between synchronous speed and frequency of an alternator. The relation between synchronous speed and frequency. So basically, the output of alternator is electrical energy. The electrical energy have magnitude of voltage with uh, and frequency also. So at what frequency it is generating that is depending upon what which of which parameters the frequency is depending upon which parameters we have to know that. So all these points will be discussed in this video. So basically the frequency of generated voltage so the output of alternator is the generated voltage the frequency of altern uh, the generated voltage depends upon the number of field poles. So the volt the frequency of the voltage will be depending upon the poles already in the last video uh, i told you so the revolution of the one cycle will be generated uh, one 360 degrees revolution will be equal to one cycle that is only two poles uh, here two poles north pole and south poles so that one cycle will be generated if we have four poles then for one revolution two cycles will be generated so this will be clearly explained in this video so the output voltage depending upon the output uh, I'm sorry frequency of the output voltage depending upon the field poles and the speed of the and on the speed the speed of the rotor at which the field poles are rotated I mean that is means rotor. So one complete cycle of voltage is generated in an armature coil when a pair of field poles field poles passes over a coil I mean so to generate one complete cycle pair of field po pair of poles i mean north pole south pole combination means one pair so here one pair of poles are here so this one pair will be rotates in one uh, 360 degree degrees then one cycle will be generated if we have two pairs i mean for example uh, another north pole and another south pole here we can uh, we can imagine here north pole and south pole then if this rotor have rotor has uh, two pairs so two pairs of uh, poles two pairs of uh, two pairs of poles will be generated in this degrees then two cycles will be generated in completion of one revolution so that is clearly written here one complete cycle of voltage generation in armature coil when a pair of field poles passes over the coil i mean one in one revolution in one revolution how many in one in one revolution how many pairs of poles will be passes over the armature coil so that will be clearly explained here the relation between nor synchronous speed and frequency synchronous speed is represented by ns or capital n frequency represented by f that is frequency hedges so now let capital p number of field poles small p pair of field poles this is the number of poles this is pair pair means you know that i can i cannot say like that so this is a pair this is a individual poles so if we have two poles two number of poles then how many pair of field poles one pair so next n speed of the field field is rotating so that that speed of the field is called n that is in, in the unit of rpm revolutions per minute small n means field poles in revolution per second speed of the poles revolutions per second this is minute this is per second so this is represented by capital n revolutions per second represented by small n f is equal to frequency of the generator voltage in hedges so there are two relations in the right side see clearly small n means what do you mean by small n field poles uh, revolutions per second the units of small n means revolutions per second here capital n means revolutions per minute minute the relation between two speeds will be written here like this small n is equal to capital n by 60 capital n means small revolutions per minute by 60 single uh, one minute is equal to 60 seconds so 60 60 cancels that then the output is equal to n is equal to revolutions per second so this is the relation between small n and capital n now another relation between small p and capital P. Small p means pair poles, capital P means number of poles. If in this diagram, how many number of poles are here? North pole, south pole, two poles. So two, 
by 2. 2 by 2 will be is equal to 1. Small p is equal to 1. How many pairs here? 1 pair. So small p is equal to 1. So we can write these two relations from the, from the equations. So now coming to the next step. So what is mean by frequency? First of all, we know the re uh, relation but relation of a frequency. Frequency is equal to what is the definition? Number of cycles per second. Number of cycles per second. That is equal to Hedges. Units. So frequency is equal to number of cycles per second. This can be written as number of cycles per revolutions. That is the into revolutions per second. We can multiply and divide it with the revolutions. So number of cycles per revolution, revolutions per second, we can write uh, we can write like this. So number of cycles per revolution. So it is uh, difficult to understand number of cycles per revolution. So all I already told you one cycle one cycle of output. So number of cycles per revolution. So directly uh, directly tell me that uh, for one revolution how many cycles will be generated here? That is depending upon the pair of poles. So here one pair is there so that for one revolution one cycle will be generated if we have two pairs two cycles will be generated so this is completely depending upon the pair of poles the <coughs> cycle uh, revolutions per second revolutions per second is revolutions uh, sorry number of cycles per revolution number of cycles is de directly depending upon the small p that is pair pole pairs pole pairs Revolutions per second. Revolutions per second already we know that small n is equal to revolutions per second that is small small n. So we can substitute these two relations in this equation, frequency equation. Then f is equal to capital P capital N by 120, 16 to 2, 120. So final equation is frequency is equal to depending upon capital P and capital N. Capital N means where N, capital N means synchronous speed, capital P means number of poles f means frequency hedges so this is the final relation between synchronous speed and frequency f is equal to pn by 120 so this is the relation thank you thank you very much if you have any doubts please comment on the comment box